Hello and welcome back to my PLC basic course. It's great to have you here again. In the previous video we learned that we need the TIA portal software for the new generation of Cimatic PLCs. In this video I will show you how to install the program on your computer. As we already know there are many different versions of the TIA portal with new releases almost every year. Unfortunately, the TA portal is not for free, but you can use each version without restrictions for 21 days. You can train for a longer period of time free of charge if you use all of these trial licenses. In the next few minutes, I will show you how to install TA version 19. After that, we will finally be ready to write the first program for our PLC. Let's get started. Below the video you will find the link to this website. The C portal is a Siemens support and ordering platform. Countless downloads, manuals and information material are available here. Our goal is to download and install tier version 19. Before you can download the software you first need to register or log in. If you don't have a Siemens account yet, please click on register. Enter your email address and name, choose a password and then click on continue. In the next step you have to confirm your email address. After you have confirmed your email address you can log in and download the installation file. For the installation of the TI portal we only need DVD1. If you want to simulate your programs you will also need PLC sim. However we will save that topic for a separate chapter. Below the video you will also find the link to the trial versions of tier V16, 17 and 18. For tier versions 17 and 18 you only need to download the ESO file of DVD1 as well. With TIA version 16 it's a little bit more complicated. The DVD1 has been split into four different downloads. You need to download all of these files into a shared folder. After that start the installation with the exe file. Now let's get back to TIA version 19. After the file has been downloaded you can open it and start the installation by double clicking on this icon. Sometimes the TI portal may prompt you to restart your computer. After that you have to start the installation again. Now first step is to choose the right installation language. After making your selection click on next. Now you have to choose the product language. This is the language which is used inside the TI portal programming environment. This information is not important for us. Just click on next. Now you can select which products you want to install. The typical installation is always a good choice. If you want you can also change the installation directory. In the next step we confirm the license agreement and security information. Of course before doing that we study them in great detail. The TIA portal now wants to know which port it should use to connect to its server. If the default port is already reserved just use another one. Like any other software the TI portal also requires updates. These are retrieved from a Siemens server by default. You can't go wrong with the default settings. Now we accept the security and permission settings. The moment has finally come where we can start the installation. You now have enough time to grab a cup of coffee. See you in a couple of minutes. After the installation is complete these icons will appear on your desktop. 
Now we can start the TI portal for the very first time. Welcome to your new second home. Welcome to the TI portal. First, let's create a new project. I would like to show you how to activate the trial license. There are two views in the TIA portal, the portal view and the project view. We will now switch to the project view. Next, we add a new PLC to our project. At the moment, it doesn't matter which of these PLC you choose. I just want to quickly show you what happens if you don't use a valid license key. The TI portal informs me that no valid license key is available. This is because I've already used the trial version of TRV19. If you haven't used the trial license yet, the following message will appear. The TA portal tells us that no valid license key was found, but we can use the trial license instead. If you would like to do that, select Step 7 Professional Combo and click on Activate. Once you have activated the trial license, you can add a new PLC and start programming. But we will talk about this topic in a later chapter. At the end of the video, I would like to quickly show you the Automation License Manager. This tool is used to manage your licenses. Here you can see all available licenses. My trial license of tier version 19 has already expired. There are zero out of 21 days left. Fortunately, I'm the proud owner of a full version. The license key is currently still on the USB stick on which it was delivered. I can move the license to my computer using drag and drop. The license is automatically recognized and the TI portal is ready for use. All right, everyone, we have now installed the TI portal together. This sets the foundation for chapter two of the PLC basic course. I'm really excited to introduce you to our first real project. See you soon. Thank you so much for watching. If you're excited to dive deeper into PLC programming, visit my website at plccoach.com. See you in the next video.